As you look back, uh, what did you take out of this season uh, from your own growth and maybe the team's growth? Yeah, I think there's lots of good things to take away from this year. Um, you know, I think from a team aspect, it took, uh, you know, another good leap. Um, I think we're a playoff team 100%. Um, and I think you guys can see that. Everyone in the organization can see that, and that's exciting for us. Um, for me, um, I had my ups and downs for sure. Um, coming to the season, I had a lot of high expectations for se- myself, and you know, so at some points, I probably put a little too much pressure on myself to perform. Uh, you know, I wanted to be great for the team, and um, I had to look back and just you know, just focus on the little details for me. Um, you know. When you're out of lineup sometimes you're you're stressed and you want to score that goal or do that thing to impress the coach and um, I had to just go back to you know the little details in my game that made me why I'm here and um, you know as the year went on I, I found a role and um, you know I'm just trying to excel that into next year and um, you know keep gaining the trust of the, the organization and um, having a lot of fun you feel like you you really establish a, a strong foundation defensively that can kind of lead to maybe a unleashing like the skill that yeah. you know that made you the play zone. Yeah, I think that was you know what Donnie and I talked about the most was just trying to you know build that foundation. So you know I'm I think we watched a lot of Bergeron, a lot of guys like that to you know um, allow myself to see what what they do to make them great, and you know I can add that to my game. So. Um, having that foundation d- defensively gives him the trust that you know um, when I'm out there in the last two minutes of a hockey game we're down or up a goal that he can trust me and um, I think that was huge for me. Like I said, those those are the, the little details that I really try to emphasize and um, you know it, it helped and I think um, going into next year I'll have that foundation and I can bring more offense. We've I'd talked like a for little you to have that trust from the coaching staff to be able to have that so so early on in your career. Yeah, I'm still working on it, but um, it's it's so important um, to have a you know a free flowing conversation with your coach about anything. And um, you know, if I messed up a shift, he's Krebs, he do this. If, and most times I already know, but um, it's huge, and it gives you confidence in yourself to you know make plays and do your thing. When did you decide that you wanted to be the Rob Ray of this team and uh, <laughs> mix it up? <laughs> um, I think. I was getting a hard time in the locker room. That wasn't tough, so I was like, all right, I'll show you guys. <laughs> Western leaguer, so I got to live up to that. But, uh, no, um, I just like sticking up for my teammates if I need to. And um, I love, you know, mixing things up out there and just trying to, you know, make the game a little more fun. So it's good. How much fun is it to be in that that other teams don't like? Yeah, it's good and bad sometimes, but... Um, just trying to make my impact on the game if I'm not scoring a goal. So, yeah. You know, we saw the line develop over the season, but what was it like, the trust factor? There were a lot of games. Donnie had you guys out there at the start, and yeah. the other team dropped the top line, or sometimes he just wanted you guys to set a good tone. What was that like, having that responsibility? Yeah, I think, that, you know, that as trust was built, that's kind of what those things. And having those two guys, you know, obviously Oki and Zemgis, um this year they taught me so much and you know those little details I was talking about and um, you know I think we, de- we developed a little role to, to, to be the defensive line I think you know per 60 we were one of the lowest and um, you know giving goals up and um, I think that factor of shutting shutting top lines down and allowing uh, our top lines to go score the goals is kind of uh, that's exciting and um, you know, anything we can do to help with that is what we're trying to do. Did you find out, though, playing with them that you could get a four check going and get some offensive zone time and maybe some offensive zone chances with the way they played and the way you started playing? Yeah, no, I think, yeah, like the old cliche saying is uh, the best defense is the best offense. So um, I think with that, we, we got a lot of chances. I think we, we hemmed in the teams more than we scored sometimes. But, um, you know, I think... Having those guys is, you know, you you know you're gonna get a reload from them, so you can make those plays and um, get on the forecheck. Go ahead. You're not the first one we've talked to this yeah. weekend that has said this is a playoff team next year. Yeah. What makes you so confident? In that? It's not even, you know, I think on the ice, it's you can see it for sure. Um, but off the ice, the way we gel together, um, you know, way we way we trust each other, um, I think that um, will only help us on the ice. And you know, we got. 
we got all the tools to do it, and I think everyone sees that. So, um, you know, it's exciting. I love playing with these guys each and every day. Um, they're a family, and I'm um, excited. You mentioned uh, watching Bergeron. As painful as it might be that you may not be playing, do you have some homework now the next couple months with the TV? Oh, yeah, I'll be, uh, I'll be watching every playoff game I can, and, um, you know, little tips and tricks. I think video something I really utilized this past year, and I'm going to continue to do that. How much do you focus on the star players and how much are you really going to focus on some of the role players too? Yeah, I think I try to focus on the star players as much as I can because they seem to be doing the right things. So, um, But I think you can take every, little details from everybody and uh, you know, kind of try to round out, round out your game as much as possible. Yeah, it's easier, I assume, because now you have a lot more experience and you've gone head-to-head with some of these guys. Yeah, I think that... That intimidation factor is uh, slowly going off. So, um, you know, your first few years in the league, you're playing against those studs, you're a little starstruck. But I think, um, you know, it doesn't matter who's in the lineup next door, uh, you, you're ready to go. You mentioned, you mentioned putting too much pressure on yourself at times. Yeah. Having spent the entire season in the NHL, this is the first, eight, you know, 82 for you. Is yeah. Do you think that maybe that can help just the confidence? And so now that you know, like, you belong here, you have a role, like, on this team? Yeah, definitely. I think. Um, last year being kind of up and down, it, it put some hesitation in your head for sure. And you want to do so well each and every day for the coaches to show them why you should be an NHLer. And that's definitely that pressure. I think this year, um, looking back at it, you know, there's some times where I uh, was out of the lineup. And I think um, Donnie kind of just allowed me to, you know, look back and, and see what I'm doing. And, and I think that was huge for me um, looking back. And um, I'm just trying to, you know, continue to develop each and every day. But with that in the books, are you able to take your foot off the gas this summer at all? Or are you full steam ahead with just trying to build on the success that you've grown? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm working harder each and every day. I'm not taking my foot off the gas. Um, you know, this league uh, is demanding and um, there's always a guy trying to take your spot. So. Um, so I'm just going to go into the summer like I always do, get better, stronger, faster, and uh, coming in next year, uh, ready to go. We've ready seen go. Tage's uh, shrine grow all season. Is the WL card a point of contention for you? Or did you feel the need to represent that yeah, in here? Yeah, the WHL, I needed the, that card in there for sure. Um, he's always talking about college and how great it is, so I had to make sure I get my uh, little piece of CHL in there. That's what he said. He goes, he, th- he thinks the WHL is the best league ever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a lot of good players. <laughs> hey, you've been approached about Worlds, but can't. Um, still working on it, just seeing what, uh, how it's going to see and, and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, I guess time will tell with that. What do you need to have the support of guys, not just – you know, Kyle and Zemgus, but Tage and, and other veterans in this room as you went through the first full NHL season? Yeah, I mean, um, it doesn't get much better than that for those for, from the, for those two guys. Um, I mean, Oki, um, my my stallmate here, um, it's it's funny. We always seem to gravitate towards each other, Oki, Z, and I, and uh, we're doing our same warm-ups together now. We do soccer at the same time, and um, the amount of like the amount I've learned from those two is um, more than I could ever ask for them. And, you know, the stamp that they put on this team um, going forward is uh, absolutely incredible. And, um, you know, Oki, he's a role model for me that, um, you know, I'm, I'm so thankful to have. And, and not just in hockey, but off the ice with his family, how he treats people. Um, you know, I want to have a family like him one day. It's, it's pretty special to see the passion he brings towards them and, and and obviously his teammates. So, um, and then Zemgis is the same way. His family and the way he approaches every day um, is absolutely incredible. Kyle said he has a lot to think about this summer, just about his future, but he wants to leave this team no matter what better than where he found it. What impact do you think he's had on the Buffalo Sabres? Yeah, exactly what I just said. Um, I think you look at a guy like that um, for you know how much he's played, um, to have the same passion um, coming to the rink every every single day. Um, loves laughing, loves hanging with the boys, um, loves his family, like I said, loves it here in Buffalo. Um, his work ethic, um, his commitment, uh, no matter you know what he does, he's going to be a part of this, this team, and um, um, it's incredible. Uh, just, yeah, one of the best captains, the best captain I've ever had, for sure. You got, you got JJ on the others. 
at JJ on the other side here. Tuck says he's too messy. Is he too messy? Yeah, <laughs> he's got a stick all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's great, though. I love him, so it's good. Yeah. Thanks, Ben.